We have a mission that we're going to fly to Minmus, and we're going to fly directly into the inclined orbit of Minmus and maybe save ourselves a little bit of time. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to go into my, before I go to my uh, my craft uh, in the space plane hangar for that, I'm going to go into orbit. I have a, a station in an equatorial orbit, which matches the position of the Kerbal Space Center. So position is key. Uh, when you take off, you want to be on the ascending or descending node of Minmus, which is going to be the target. And if you think of the Kerbal Space Center being in a zero altitude orbit, um, circling around Kerbin, um, if we take off and point ourselves in the direction of the ascending or descending node for Minmus, we ought to be able to match the orbit uh, without having to do this extra burn. It's just a matter of how well can we fly um, the heading that we need to in order to match it. And I'm going to show you how to go about doing this. As far as timing of uh, when we need to um, plan for our takeoff, what I'm going to do is select um, my space station that's in equatorial orbit. And one thing that's going to, and then go to uh, you know the bigger view, one thing that's going to make this a little bit easier is by default it comes out and it's centered on the station. We're going to be accelerating time to get our KSC in the right spot. Um, Kerbin rotates, I believe a day is six hours, so every three hours it should be in a you know a decent launch window to be able to match that, that orbit. Um, but when I'm Accelerating time, it's kind of irritating uh, the camera, you know, kind of oscillating around following the the uh, the craft. So I'm going to double click on Kerbin, and with Kerbin selected, then I'm going to go out to Minmus and left click and set as target. By doing that, you can see it's dropping the ascending descending node uh, that I need as a reference point, and it looks like we oh, unfortunately, we just passed uh, the descending node. So we're going to accelerate time until Kerbin is on the ascending node. Uh, let's go ahead and excel time. All right, we're getting close. All right, so we're on the ascending node. We know that when we take off from Kerbin in a space plane, we're going to be on runway 090, so we're going to be 90 degrees heading east. Uh, question is, how much do I have to adjust my heading from 90 degrees in order to match um, minimus inclination? And the answer is right underneath this ascending node. Um, it's giving me the relevant change based on my craft and equatorial orbit, so it's a six degree positive uh, adjustment on the ascending node. If I were on the descending node, you'd notice it would say a six degree negative. So if KSC was over here on this side, we'd want to be doing um, 90 minus six degrees, so it'd be 84. Um, because it's on this side, we're going to be doing 90 plus six. So we're going to be, after we take off, we're going to take a heading of 96 and see how well we can fly that to orbit in order to match um, the inclination. So let's go to the SPH. <clears throat> and maybe I've got a space plane already queued up here, ready to go. Oh, nope, I'll have to load it. Let's see. So the SPO6 Star Ranger should work for this mission. And. I don't need a pilot, it's got an Octo-2, um, so I think I'm going to do Scientist because it's got some science on board I haven't done on Minmus yet, and we'll do the Tourist because he needs to land on Minmus. So that sh should be good, and we'll go out to launch. I believe I said plus six, so we're going to be heading for a, you know, the target here is going to be a 96 degree heading. On the nap ball, there's a digital readout, so I'm going to be watching. You know, there's not a 95 or 96 degree line on the nav ball itself, so I'm going to be watching the digital readout and see how well I can get this uh, craft onto a 96, call it 95, 96 degree heading. Take off rotations, maybe around 110. And 
Wind will roll a little bit. 90... Yeah, look at that. That's pretty darn good. 0. Point down. I think I want about 15 degrees for this craft. And if we hold it there, we'll just see how we do. Go to Excel time here a little bit. I'm usually pretty happy if this craft can make it to, uh, you know, 1300 before it flames out. Looks like I went a little bit, uh, a little bit aggressive on the, the climb, so I might only have made it up to 1250, but above 1200 should be fine. This one does pitch up a bit. I'll have to tinker with the flight characteristics on this one. Hopefully your craft does a little bit, uh, a little bit better in this respect. Looks like the, uh, I haven't flown this one in a while, so maybe the aerodynamics need some tweaking. Let's see how what you're doing on the, the map. I don't want to get, well, we're way up there. Uh, higher than I wanted to go. We we're probably going to run out of uh, oxidizer earlier than planned, but that's okay for this exercise. The warp doesn't warp fast enough. Well, you can see we are in an inclined orbit. Trying to give it a little yaw. I'm maybe not quite at 96. Yeah, there's the flame out, so we'll shift over to uh, nuke engines now. Should be close to getting the other side to, to appear. Alright, there we go. Where are we? Here's the PE. And right now we're tracking around 93 degrees, so we're not quite where I'd like to be. Let's see if I can pull it a little bit. We're 950. Yeah, we're, our marker is like at 93, so my expectation is we'll probably, if I set Minmus as my target, I'll probably be on maybe within 3 degrees. Let's see how we did. Set as target, and then we'll check our, yeah, I'm within 1 degree. That's not too bad. 1 degree is probably just fine. Uh, and if we take a look at it, you can kind of see... So, you know, not, not horrible. I think that's uh, definitely within the margin of error that we could just now, uh, you know, set up and fly directly there. So if I put a maneuver here, so we'll see how, how we do. Can I, yeah, there, see? So that's, uh, you know, I consider that a successful launch directly into uh, an inclined orbit, and uh, it lets me go right to my next step of intercepting Midmus. Um, but that's the general idea. You're just, uh, 
you're waiting for the timing um, you know, to get underneath that uh, min miss has sending descending node, the KSC, and then just adjusting for you know whatever the that inclination marker is. It's going to always be plus minus six degrees for for min miss.